Hello friends and welcome to another episode where I review or I present to you ballpoint pens in my collection. This time I have for you a wonderful Karandarsh ballpoint pen made in Switzerland in um, approximately 1970s or early 1980s. This version of the pen is silver plated or some people consider it rhodium plated. There is also a version of gold plating and I'm not so sure if it's just only gold plating or raw gold. You must know that the raw gold procedure applies a larger quantity of gold than the simple gold plating. But in this case we have this wonderful wonderful pen. And I will call it silver plated, but some people consider it uh, rhodium plated, and I don't know for sure what is the right uh, variant. As you can see, we have this faceted version of it with a chevron pattern, I believe it's called a chevron pattern. And we have also a nice personalization. So, Bank S. Schenbach. And uh, if you search for in the Google, you could find this bank. It still exists in a small town in Switzerland. At the back of the metal clip, we have clip metal imprinted, as you can see. And another identification is at the end of the body. We have Swiss. Swiss made, Karan, and let's, uh, sorry, let's zoom. So, as you can see, Karan Darsh, Swiss made. This is quite an elegant pen. It's uh, not so heavy, uh, being all made out of uh, metal. In fact, I will leave its dimensions on the screen. And as a side comparison, I will use the famous Lamy 2000, the famous Lamy German fountain pen, to see the differences between those two writing instruments. I will leave the Lamy aside. And let's uh, go back to our pen to see other details on um, it. A wonderful faceted version. And I want to show you, I'm not uh, proficient in ballpoint pens, so I hope I won't uh, damage it. So I simply turn this ending and see what we have inside. We have this mechanism, part metal, part plastic, and I will put this aside. And yes, we have a mine uh, and um, we have this code, medium blue, Swiss made, giant cartilage Goliath, Genève Carandash. So this, uh, okay, we have Swiss made and the US patent number. So this ballpoint pen comes with its original reserve. And this is the inside of it. Let's put it back. I definitely had the feeling of spring. So it is also an internal spring here. And I will simply push this and try to turn it back on. Yes. For operating this, you simply push the button and you can see the mine is uh, pushed and returned to the body. So this was my uh, review of a quite a luxury writing instrument. If you haven't heard of the Swiss firm Karandars, you must know that they produce high-end writing instruments. And this particular fountain pen is priced at uh, at least $100 on eBay. So quite, quite an expensive 
writing instrument. This was my review. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you've enjoyed it, please support my activity by subscribing to my channel. As always, I wish you to have a nice day. Thank you for your time and bye-bye.